there's a lot of psych shit that happens in the head of a gambler once they start doing these activities. And the reason why, like, sports bet give you the opportunity to place a same game multi bet with bonus back insurance is because they don't want you to do what we've just said in terms of turn that over every time. Because if they do that, they're not going to be making much money long term because they're not taking 50 bucks off anyone anymore. They're taking 12, right? So what happens when you start gambling the bonus or trying to turn it into 500 bucks or a thousand or 10,000 every time you do it is you've now not only lost your 50, but you've then placed another bet, right? And let's just say that bet got really close to winning. You're then going to go again with your own money. That's the whole point of this. The bookie is trying to get you to bet more on their platform. So now they've got you betting twice, not once. And when you do that three times a weekend, you've now bet six times. And when you do things over and over again, your brain becomes just forms addicted to, habit. to that activity. Same reason casinos have flocked to team up with someone like Tim Naki because no disrespect to Tim Naki or whatever, do whatever you want. But the casino is literally seeing that as an opportunity to essentially catch people out to or make them addicted bad habits. to casino. Correct. Like, hey, come back here, put this code in, we'll pay Tim Naki a fee and then we'll get you on our platform. And we know that if you're on our platform, you're going to lose money. And our aim is to take money from you. That is our business. So that is what they're telling you. Sportsbet is doing the exact same thing. Yeah. They, tying it back to the bookies, there's some bookies out there that I don't think Sportsbet do, but more the middle to low range bookies. But I think Sportsbet do have requirements. Every single deposit offer, deposit bonus bet, there's certain turnover requirements on that deposit offer. So if you put $50 in, you get a $50 bonus bet. You, with some bookies, you have to turn that over like three times on particular odds above $2 in some instances. And that's just tying into what you're saying. They want you to have to bet that bet three, four, Probably not five times. I don't think I've no, heard of casino, a bookie like that. This is casinos. Those online casinos sometimes have a 30 times turnover. Yeah. So even if you were to win from their bonus, bro, you've got no hope to fucking turn that all over and get it out. Because yeah. the more times you turn it over against their edge, like that's more likely to get to zero. Exactly right. Not only does it mean that it's probably pretty unlikely that you're going to end up walking away with any money, but it means that you're being forced into building those habits in your brain and you're being forced to playing the game four or five times and you're being forced to fueling that addiction a number of times. And then at the end of the, at the, end of the day, it's all just a numbers game. The bookies know if they entice 100 people through their doors, I'm just making these numbers up, 10 people are going to continuously play every single week, two people are going to fall into a degenerate gambling behavior, one person's going to lose their life, sa life savings. It's just a pure numbers game. And the bookies know, well, if we just get a million people through our doors, all of a sudden that one person becomes a thousand people, that 10 people becomes a million people. It's just a numbers game. So by you accepting the offers that the bookies are giving to you and playing with playing the way that they want you to play, you're basically opening yourself up to just being one of their numbers. A perfect real life example of this, and I'm sure almost any person that's been betting over the last two years will remember this promo. When BetR launched, they offered all of these ridiculous 101 to one odds on like AFL, NRL, all the futures, right? They did that purely. They're like, this is going to cost us an absolute fortune, but what it's going to do is it's going to get 200, 300,000 people to sign up to us this week. And then, as Steve said, we're just going to play the numbers game. We're going to catch some of the D-Gen punters. We're going to catch some of the guys that are going to punt 10 grand a week. And sure, some people will win on this promo, but who gives a fuck? The other thing bookies are doing right now is they're getting smarter and smarter and smarter. They've got like TAB has like the if you miss by one disposal. So you're tracking it, man. You're getting in the app and tracking it. Sportsbet have the counter and tick it off as soon as it wins. They want you sitting in there on the app. They're offering like live cash out or live betting. The longer that you spend on the app, the more likely that sports bet are, are to catch those numbers or tab are to catch those numbers. And maybe we can push five of those people that are recreational punters. Maybe we can push an extra one of them into that full DGEN category by just keeping them on our app. And like, dude, you just, you're on a hamster wheel. Literally you're getting psychologically played. Yeah. Silently. And the funniest part is a lot of people see it and they think it's funny and all this stuff. And then when you tell them this, they're like, oh yeah, whatever. But like, but they're just a number at the end of the day. By they're like, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to be that one in 100 people that lose my life savings. But you're opening yourself up to being one of those people. So if you enjoyed that snippet and you want to watch the entire episode around multis and same game multis, if you click here, you'll be able to find the podcast. Click it.